Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lil Lady Panda, a comfy and variety game streamer. And today we're looking at some Sims packs coming out really soon. On January 18th, the Goth Galore and the Castle Estates packs are being released by EA and The Sims. And these are packs that the community voted on late in 2023. I'm really excited because this is my first chance to get early access as well as giveaway access to these packs for my community as now I'm an EA content creator. Being part of the EA Creator Network is has been a dream of mine for a really long time and I was very impatient, but I waited almost two years for the ability to do this. So, hi, I'm Lil Lady Panda and I'm an EA content creator. As part of the EA Content Creator Network, I have access to give away a copy of both the Castle Estate and the Goth Galore packs and I'm hosting a giveaway on my Twitter. All the instructions on how to enter the giveaway are in the description of the tweet. And um, one lucky winner will be winning both packs to PCEA. So I'm really excited to host that for you guys. I wanna go ahead and go into these packs and go over them with you. So let's get right into it. So I've gathered some images. I love my background, by the way. Thank you, uh, Opera GX, for those. Um, I want to go over the castle pack first. Honestly, I didn't vote for the castle pack. I voted for, I voted for the futuristic furniture, and I voted for goth galore. So I did vote for goth, but I'm really excited about this, um, even though I didn't vote for it because. It turns out that gothic structures are actually really useful in a lot of different kinds of builds, not just castle playthroughs. So I'm excited for the build items with this pack. Um, on top of the fact that it looks incredible, I really love these windows and having more window options for curved rooms is really exciting because we don't have enough of those. Um, the knights are really cool. There, it looks like there's going to be some new fountain features, maybe some new fruit trees, possibly. The gargoyles are stunning. I hope it's more than just the horse one. So far, I just see like a dark and a light version of the horse one. Oh, is that a donkey? It's a donkey. A deer? A donkey? A horse? It's something. It looks really cool though. And the, the coat of arms shield... It is also really beautiful. Looks like we're getting some new lighting fixtures, um, maybe outdoorsy ones and windows, new railings, um, fences, and maybe some new steps. Let's take a look at the next picture as well. So the next picture is another castle picture. And it, yeah, it looks like the same gargoyles over and over again. I don't see any variation of the gargoyles. That doesn't mean that there won't be a variation. I do like that these rounded towers have what seems like two different kinds of uh, stone colors. So that's really cool. I like the way it transitions. These, these archways are beautiful. The doors are gigantic and I really like the gate, the gated entry for the castle. It looks like we're getting some more landscaping. These trees look familiar and the round trees look familiar, but maybe we'll get new bushes? I don't know. Man, this landscaping must have taken a while, but it looks beautiful. I'm excited about this pack. Let's check out some of the um, more intricate items that we're gonna get. So there's obviously stone walls, stone floors. Oh, that's a nice pillar. There's a fence. That looks like maybe a edge, a ledge, a railing. We are getting new stairs. There's the gargoyle. There's the fencing, the giant doors, door archways, gates, giant two. We're getting three versions of the door. That's pretty cool. I think this might be maybe the edge of a roof. These skinny windows are so pretty and I think that they would work well in like a cathedral type of maybe church build as well and the coat of arms oh the spandrel that's a nice spandrel very nice touch and i love these windows um i don't know that i'm gonna use it anytime soon 
but I think at some point it'll come in handy. I did do a decades challenge and I thought about doing a, um, what's that called? The even bigger decades challenge where you go into like the 1300s and the 1700s medieval decades challenge. That's what it's called. Um, you never know. There might be a medieval decades challenge in my future. Moving right along, this is the one I'm most excited about, clearly, because I voted for it. But the goth pack. Um, oh, the bunny butt. Uh, my, oh, I really like this shirt with a skull and the roses. You can see it over here. You're not missing much in this part where my head is. There's nothing there but the side of the guy's head. Um... Oh, he has studs in his earrings, in his ears, though. I really love her earrings. They look like uh, extensions or extenders or... Oh my gosh, I used to wear them. What are they called? Anyway, we got earring options. It looks like we have black nail polish, possibly. Definitely new makeup options. The dripping eyeliner. The dark red eyeliner with the very, very heavy black... Um, dark red eyeshadow with a heavy black eyeliner, heavy black eyeliner, lots of smokiness going on, red lips, um, new clothing, obviously. I really like this top. I really do. And the layered chains on it is really cute. I love the sheerness of it. And I was trying to say something, but I forgot what it was. I wonder if there's going to be any kind of traits that come with this. Oh, the other EA content creators and I were talking and it looks like this gothic um pack will have some color swatches that it will make it a little more dynamic for example um th there seems to be a neon uh neon kind of color theme which would lend itself to like a cyber cyberpunk goth um and i heard tell there might be some pastel goth uh, swatches and I love me some pastel goth let me tell you I can't um see and you can see kind of a hint of it on her boots there's like a pastel rainbow kind of sheen to it so that would be awesome if I could dress in pastel goth style I would I was such like an emo kid in high school way well I don't want to tell you how long ago <laughs> But, um, yeah, if I could, I would have totally been a scene kid. But I couldn't for lots of different reasons. But let's check out the um, items in the pack themselves. Those boots that I was talking about with the rainbow sheen are my absolute favorite thing out of this entire pack. There's the earrings. We got some jorts. Jean shorts, yeah. You can't see it. It's under my head. Here, let me get rid of... Let me get rid of my... Off with her head. Oops. What did I do? Oh, no, wait, here. There we go. My head is gone. <laughs> so it's here. Um, you can see this. It looks like maybe pleather uh, or leather skirt with chains on the side. That's really cute. There's this shirt, which I love for the buckles and the shreddedness around the shoulders. Um... Oh, these shorts are really cute. And this is the top that I saw in that other image that I really loved. The two-tone ombre type lips is really beautiful. I love this outfit right here, like the whole thing. The layered chains. This shirt. Honestly, I love all of it. I'm not crazy about this weeping eyeshadow from the 90s look. But, you know, it's okay. And this jacket, very Matrix-like. But you know what? Do you boo boo? I am most excited about the Goth Galore pack, as you saw. I hope you have enjoyed um, checking out the Goth Galore and the Castle Estate packs. With the packs are coming out on January eighteenth, so in just a couple days from today uh, of the recording of this. So I, this is releasing on the 17th so one day from today if you're watching this on the 17th if you're watching it on the 18th it is out today if you're watching it past that and you just want to check out the packs thank you so much for being here and checking out my video don't forget to enter the uh giveaway in my twitter i will link it down below in the description the drawing for the giveaway will be january 25th at 1 p.m eastern standard time 
look out for my notifications on Twitter. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe in this video. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. I hope you enjoy my Sims content as well as all of my other cozy and survival content. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you're valid, you're loved, you're incredible, you got a fat ass, and you deserve all the pizza in the world. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!